Welcome back everyone. This is nothing special other than just a personal challenge for myself and it shouldn't be too difficult. But the reason why I even purchased this vehicle is I really like the paint scheme on it. The black and the green, I don't know what it is, but I've always liked black and green contrast just like on that old uh, HBX Rampage. Plus it kind of reminds me of my old RC10 I used to have many years ago. I haven't had a buggy since then. They've all been four-wheel drive or touring cars. So what I want to do with this one is, uh, this is toy grade. This is one I bought at Walmart. I believe the price at the time of purchase was about $39 plus tax. Just kind of go over it briefly. The tires are very hard, I would consider. And they are spiked. They probably get some decent traction in some surfaces. Some tire slop in the front. I don't feel anything in the rear. We've got a good amount of ground clearance in the front, but the suspension is very difficult. If you're jumping off the roof of your house, you probably want the suspension, at least on the front. and the rear, forget about it. There is some suspension in the rear, but it is so ungodly stiff, it is absolutely pointless. How much ground clearance we got in the rear differential? Looking at it, I would say it, it's about a half of an inch. But it does look pretty cool. And it rolls out pretty smooth, so the gear train is probably pretty good, I would guess. Here's the box. It is not proportional as far as I can tell. And just because it says 2.4 gigahertz doesn't mean it's proportional. It just means full function. It goes forward, reverse, and turns in either direction. What size motor is in here? I don't know. But the goal is to take off all the tires, see if I can outfit them with bearings, including inside the gearbox if I can. So I'm just gonna take it apart and measure things up today. See if I can find appropriate bearings, even if I have to drill out the wheels a little bit on the front, that'll be fine. Uh, find some shocks, I don't know, maybe a 1 18th scale off-road vehicle might work in there, but these are ungodly stiff, just ungodly stiff. It does come with a 7.2 volt uh, lithium ion battery, oh look at that, on off switches conveniently located on the bottom where it'll never get broken. It does come with a charger and I guess you have to unscrew it. I, obviously I haven't driven it yet and there's not even a, a scratch on the bottom side. I've had this thing since before Christmas. I just bought it as a project. And then adjustable arms in. The rear differential is covered by the skid plate. We'll see if we can increase the amount of suspension travel in here. Maybe. Well no. We'll see how it all bolts together. Put a proportional radio system in here. See if we can find a brushless motor that's that same size that's in there that will bolt up in there with the same size shaft. My guess is it's probably a, I don't know, 270 maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's a 380. We'll get lucky and it's a 380. It's a very common motor. That would be nice. Uh, probably have to remove the pinion gear off of here and we'll go from there so let's start with a take down or take it apart and see what's in there oh one more thing they claim this is one eighth scale I don't know I have no idea if that's one eighth scale or not but here is my one tenth scale rally car handmade chassis, handmade suspension components by comparison, right? So we're lining up the rear wheels about the same. So it, I don't know, I guess for a buggy, maybe it is one eight scale. Is it fast out of the box? I highly doubt it. I did watch one YouTube video and it seems to be relatively slow. Again, if you take the controller and just listen, bang bang steering and I'm sure the same is with the throttle right it's a uh, yeah it's it's garbage 
It does come with a charger and two batteries, but none of this stuff is going to be used. I, I just primarily bought it for the looks. I really like the looks. Oh, look at that. It's even got a skull up there. I just now noticed that. That's a skull. Or like a skull. Ha! Freaking cool. Could put that body on like a Traxxas Bandit, for example, but then it's still just a Traxxas Bandit with a body on it. So, I mean, I could, I could do that, but that, that's kind of takes the fun away. So, stay tuned for part two. Instead of making this video very long, stay tuned for part two. Have a good day.